The Gentleman is an old-school Guy Ritchie film with a great cast including Matty McConaughey and Charlie Hunnam, and I just want to say welcome back, Guy. This story revolves around American gangster Mickey Pearson, who's built an empire selling weed in England. One day he considers selling his lucrative business, and that's when all the Barney begins. Barney Rubble. Trouble! This movie feels like an old pair of sneakers you find in the back of the closet. They're a little worn out and maybe outdated, but as soon as you put them on, they feel super comfortable. I like Guy Ritchie as a filmmaker, but after The Man From U.N.C.L.E., which was really underappreciated in my opinion, he hasn't really been knocking it out of the park. Back in the day, he was kind of like the British Tarantino, but unlike Tarantino, who can make every type of movie his own, Ritchie never made a different type of movie that has his signature on it. So after a mediocre King Arthur and a blue Will Smith, we finally get something fun. And one of the reasons why I like this film so much is the writing. Not so much the plot, which is pretty standard, it's the dialogue that makes it work. And watching conversations between characters play out is really fun because every actor in this movie is chewing up the scenery like they haven't been fed in months. The framing devices a conversation between a private investigator played by Hugh Grant and Mickey's right-hand man. Most of the first and second act is them revisiting what's already happened with flashbacks. It's not groundbreaking or anything, but it works because of great acting and humor. And that's the whole thing, this movie is fun to watch. And sure, there's action and violence, but most of it is just long scenes with dialogue and you can just sit back and enjoy the movie. Both McConaughey and Hunnam were good, but it's Colin Farrell and Hugh Grant that really steal the show. I was never a big fan of Hugh Grant because he usually plays the same guy, but he's wonderful as this character Fletcher. And Farrell is just fantastic in this film. He is instantly likable and I wanted to see a lot more of him. I've heard some people say this movie is not politically correct and that's true, it's not. But who cares? It's a movie about gangsters. They don't give a single fuck about being woke and it all comes from a place of comedy. So anyone criticizing that needs to relax a little. But there were a couple of smaller things about this film that felt a little too dated. Mainly the typical Guy Ritchie style of editing was really 90s. And he kind of stole Tarantino's trunk opening shot. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We should have shotguns with this kind of deal. His name is Fahok, but it's spelled with a PA, so it sounds like Fahok. Mm. But overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Just don't expect anything new. It's a Guy Ritchie film with lots of double crossing, musical cues from a great soundtrack, and really snappy British dialogue. So the gentleman gets five out of six. <laughs> Personally, I like that Guy Ritchie is going back to the drawing board because you know what they say, you can make an omelet, but you can't, you, you can break an omelet, but you're gonna need some eggs. Fuck. <laughs>